Welcome to Thai Fly Designs Halloween series 2013. I decided to do a series because I love Halloween and I couldn't wait to use my Halloween supplies. So I hope you guys enjoy my first card. And it was very simple. And enjoy! Woo. My main image on the card is going to be this stamp from Inka Dinka Doo. It's called Jack O' Lantern Mini. And then this stamp set from Martha Stewart. I'm going to use the spider web. And this little spider. I'm going to use some Versamark ink. And I'm going to just stamp the web all over my piece of cardstock. Then I'm going to cover it with some clear embossing powder like so and then heat set and I have my heating gun for a long time a um, couple of years now and it's still kicking so I heat set the paper my cardstock and then I'm gonna do some coloring for my coloring, I used um, these three ink pads from Stamping Up. This one is <laughs> the one I can't get open. It's called Perfect Plum. Then Garden Green. And Pumpkin Pie. I love the Pumpkin Pie color. I'm going to start with the Pumpkin Pie. And I'm going to do it at the top of the cardstock and the bottom of the cardstock. Like so. Then I'm going to go to my garden green. Put one layer, like so. And then my perfect plum. So we have a mixture of the three colors. And then that's pretty much how I colored my background cardstock. And I'm going to cut it down. I actually um, stamped my background again. I'm keeping the spider web a little random, more random than the one I made earlier. And it looks so, so much better this way. But you use the same concept. I use my spider and stamp it on the outer web. Add some black twine and tie a bow. And add three brads. This is my stamp I'm gonna use. And I just cover the twine and the back of the back of the twine and the back of my brad with some tape. Then I'm gonna stamp my main image. On some white cardstock using my Momento Tuxedo black ink. And I'm gonna color it. Once I finish my coloring, I use the Spellbinders Pumpkins die set to cut up my image. I run into my Big Shot, and this is my image. I just use my basic black by stamping up to distress the edges. And just I'm going to clean up my Copics a little. And this is pretty much my image. And I add some foam dots so I can it can be a little raised off the front of my card. And then I'm gonna put my card together. I'm gonna frame this with some white cardstock.
I then glue that to some to a black card, a two size card, like so. Using my glue guider, then I'm going to add my main image, which I've already added in my foam dots. I'm just going to peel my glue, my foam dots off, protective backing off, and I'm going to glue it to the front of my car. Like so. For the inside of the card, I used the pumpkins die set again and cut the largest pumpkin. And then I'm going to use my pumpkin pie ink pad from Stampin' Up to distress the edges. And then I add just a little on the entire pumpkin. I was trying out a little something. And... I decided, like I said, I distressed the entire pumpkin and I stamped my image again from the front on some orange cardstock, cut, cut it out, and then I'm just going to glue it to the lower left of the inside of my card. Like so. And then from the Martha Stewart same stamp set, I stamp this Happy Halloween, cut it out, and then I'm going to adhere that to the top right of the card, inside of the card. I'm using my trusty tumble glue. And that's it. it says Happy Halloween. The pumpkin inside you can use to write a kind of message and this is my card my first Halloween card for 2013 thanks for watching <laughs>